This video demonstrates the calculation of VAR, value at risk. Here we have a $100,000 stock portfolio with expected annual return 9% and standard deviation 12%. Our first question is to calculate an annual value at risk at the 5% probability level. To do this, we take the return less 1.65 standard deviations. In our case, we have the return 0 0.09 minus 1.65 times the standard deviation 0.12. That gives us negative 0.108 or negative 10.8%. In other words, 5% of the time, we should expect our annual return to be worse than negative 10.8%. Convert this to a dollar amount by multiplying by the portfolio value 100,000 to get $10,800. 5% of the time, we can expect to lose $10,800 or more in a year. Our next question asks for the VAR at the 1% probability level. The procedure is the same except that we take the return less 2.33 standard deviations. In our case, that's the return 0 0.09 minus 2.33 times the standard deviation 0.12. That gives negative 18.96%. Converting to a dollar amount by multiplying by our value $100,000 gives negative 18,960. In other words, 1% of the time, we can expect to lose $18,960 or more in a year. Part C here asks to convert the annual return and standard deviation to monthly measures. We can divide the annual return by 12 to get the monthly return. However, standard deviation doesn't quite work the same way. Instead, we divide by the square root of 12. In Excel, that is equals SQRT. The last question asks for a monthly VAR, so we will use these new values that we just found. For a 1% VAR, we will take the expected return here and subtract 2.33 times the standard deviation here. That gives about negative 7% and converting to dollars about negative $7,300. In other words, in 1% of the months we are invested, we can expect to lose at least 7% or $7,300.